The calorie pear is a non-native invasive tree that is already well established and continuing to spread throughout Virginia. Cultivars of the calorie pear were once thought to be a perfect landscape tree and were widely planted in the urban environment before we learned about their negative qualities and the damage they can cause. When calorie pear cultivars were first planted, they were originally thought to be sterile, but we now know that once they've been planted on the landscape, they're able to cross-pollinate with other pears and spread into our natural areas. Their rapid spread causes ecological damage and outcompetes our beneficial native plants. On top of the harm they cause to our environment, they can also be harmful to people. Calorie pear cultivars are known for being structurally weak and they'll drop their heavy limbs after snow or ice events, making them dangerous to people and to property. When they revert to their wild type, they produce large, sharp thorns that have been known to pop tractor tires. And while their blooms and fruits might look pretty, their flowers produce an off-putting scent in the spring and the abundant quantities of fruits produced end up making quite a mess. All in all, not exactly the perfect tree we once thought they were. There are a couple different things to look for when identifying a calorie pear or its cultivars. By far, the easiest way to ID them is by their white blooms in early spring. Typically, you'll see a calorie pear flower a few weeks before everything else starts to bloom. The flowers have five petals and, of course, can typically be identified by that unpleasant smell. Calorie pears also have an alternate branching structure and produce dark green, waxy leaves that are oval or round shaped with a pointed tip and tooth margins or edges. Their bark is gray or brown and starts off smooth when young, but with age will become furrowed just like this one. By removing a calorie pear from your property, you're helping to reduce the number of invasive pears spreading on our landscape. So let's discuss removal options. Calorie pear trees are prolific stump sprouters, meaning that they'll send up new sprouts from the stump after being cut down. Because of this, it's imperative that any trees you remove are treated with an herbicide to prevent regrowth. Working with hazardous trees, chainsaws, and chemicals can be very dangerous work. We highly recommend hiring an ISA certified arborist to remove your tree wherever possible. The simplest way to remove and treat a calorie pear is utilizing the cut stump method. First, you need to cut your tree down. If you're attempting this yourself, be sure to utilize proper personal protective equipment, or PPE. After the tree has been cut down, it's time to apply your herbicide. As always, when using herbicides, remember that the label is the law, so don't forget to read and follow the label and utilize the required PPE. For cut stump treatment of a calorie pear, you'll need to apply a concentrated water-based herbicide to the freshly cut stump within about 15 minutes of making the cut. For treating a calorie pear stump, you'll typically want to use a 50% solution, meaning your herbicide mixture is 50% concentrated herbicide and 50% water. We're using glyphosate, but you could also use a water-based triclovir. When your herbicide is mixed, you want to apply it to the cambium layer, which is the outer edge of the stump where growth takes place. You won't need to treat the entire stump unless you have a very small pear you're cutting down. And just like that, you're done. Quick, simple, and effective. For more information on calorie pear and invasive species management in Virginia, check out the links in the description below and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel.